In media news today, NBC suggests not having Thanksgiving this year, CBS Face the Nation corrects claim Rittenhouse crossed state lines while armed, and PolitiFact gives Jen Psaki false rating over claim no economist believes Biden agenda will fuel inflation. The NBA, Nike, and basketball star LeBron James have remained silent on the disappearance and concerns surrounding Chinese tennis star Pan Shaoyi after she made sexual assault allegations against a former senior Chinese communist. Party leader a search of the Twitter accounts belonging to the NBA and James also show no comment about the tennis star. There are also no press releases on the NBA's website about the matter. Melbourne, Australia, January 15, Schweppen of China reacts in her first round match against Eugene Bouchard of Canada during day two of the 2019 Australian Open at Melbourne Park on January 15, 2019 in Melbourne, Australia. The NBA and James, however, have both weighed in on Kyle Rittenhouse. The NBA released a statement on the matter last week, following his acquittal. Our thoughts are with the families of those whose lives were taken in this tragedy. The right to peacefully protest is a bedrock of our democracy and the National Basketball Social Justice Coalition remains committed to preserving that right for all. Any forms of vigilantism in our society are unacceptable, a statement from National Basketball Social Justice Coalition Executive Director James Cadogan said on Friday, which was shared on the NBA's official Twitter account. James also made headlines earlier this month after Rittenhouse took the stand during his trial and cried. The basketball star accused him of faking his tears. What tears? I didn't see one. Man knock it off. That boy ate some lemon heads before walking into court he tweeted on November 10. Carl Rittenhouse was acquitted of all five charges he faced, including first-degree homicide, related to the shooting deaths of two men and the injury of another. His attorneys argued he was acting in self-defense in August, 2020 during the second night of civil unrest in Kenosha, Wisconsin, sparked by the shooting of Jacob Blake, a black man, by police. Peng Shuai's disappearance may be part of President Eleven Jinping's cultural crackdown. The NBA, LeBron James and Nike have also come under fire in recent years for their ties to China. Most recently, Boston Celtics center Ian Scanter called out both Nike and James in social media posts saying China operates slave labor camps and also wore a pair of shoes showing James bowing down to Chinese President Xi Jinping. Chengdu, China, August 13. UST 13, Lebron James of the Miami Heat attends Nike promotional event on August 13, 2011 in Chengdu, Sichuan province of China. Prominent feminist organizations such as the National Organization for Women and the Me Too movement have also not addressed her disappearance or responded to requests for comment on the matter. Penn went missing on November 2 after she publicly accused a former Chinese government senior official, Zhang Gali of forcing her to have sex despite her refusals. Her accusation on social media was removed within minutes and her disappearance sparked international outrage and concern aimed at the Chinese government. She resurfaced on Friday in photos circulated by an employee of Chinese state television and also had a video call with Olympic officials over the weekend, who claimed that she is safe. Penn thanked the IOC for its concern about her well-being, the International Olympic Committee said in a statement. Melbourne, Australia. January 23, Shuai Peng of China plays a backhand during her women's doubles first round match with partner Shuai Zhang of China against Veronica Kudometova of Russia and Alison Risk of the United States on day 4 of the 202 Australian Open at Melbourne Park on January 23, 2020 in Melbourne, Australia. But others have pointed out that photos and videos are not proof she is safe and free. Messages like these are meant as a demonstration of power, we are telling you that she is fine, and who are you to say otherwise? Mariah Kohlberg, a fellow at the German Marshall Fund, wrote on Twitter. It's not meant to convince people but to intimidate and demonstrate the power of the state. These photos and videos can only prove that Peng Shuai is alive, but nothing else. They cannot prove that Peng Shuai is free Ten Biao, the Chinese civil rights lawyer told the New York Times. The CEO of the Women's Tennis Association also sounded the alarm on Peng's safety. Steve Simon addressed the video of her published by China state-run media on Saturday, saying that while it's reassuring to see her, the video was insufficient proof of her safety. 
file, WTA Chief Executive Officer Steve Simon smiles during a retirement ceremony for Martina Hingis in Singapore on October 29, 2017. An email purportedly from a Chinese professional tennis player that a Chinese state media outlet posted on Twitter has increased concerns about her safety as the sport's biggest stars and others abroad call for information about her well-being and whereabouts. Simon, the chairman and CEO of the Women's Tennis Association, questioned the authenticity of the email intended for him, in which Grand Slam doubles champion Van Shui says she is safe and that the assault allegation is untrue. While it is positive to see her, it remains unclear if she is free and able to make decisions and take actions on her own, without coercion or external interference. This video alone is insufficient. As I have stated from the beginning, I remain concerned about Pen Shuai's health and safety and that the allegation of sexual assault is being censored and swept under the rug he wrote. Pen is just the latest person in China to go missing after criticizing the ruling party with some people reappearing weeks or months later with little or no explanation. The authorities have never liked feminists or hash me too Le Jijang, the author of Lotus told the New York Times, adding that those who dared to speak out have been silenced. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.